Mm. I want to play some of these uh, tribute songs. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's see what uh, people are doing to now, in other cities to try to make it better for the other people. Well, you That's know, so good, and, and, and we got to set up all these bits nowadays, unfortunately, because everyone is very sensitive about them. You know, I understand, you know, these people, they're sending these songs into radio stations, and it's their way of expressing what they're feeling and expressing themselves. And and uh, it all, we understand all that crap, okay? Yeah. We we think it's it's a bunch of crap. You know, yeah. we're all very sad uh, at what happened over a week ago. And I personally don't want to be any sadder than I have to be. And these songs, there's only one purpose to it. It's just making people even sadder. Yeah, yeah this is my opinion. You, you don't have to agree with me. I don't care. Anthony and I said this... Uh, uh, years ago on our show, we just throw this crap out there. We're, we're not expecting people to, uh, you know, agree with us on this stuff. But this is what we feel. Yeah. Okay. Well, could you imagine if I called in with some tribute jokes? People <laughs> would want to lynch me. Yeah. Where's uh, the, these songs are just. Oh, we played a bunch amazing. of these yesterday, and, and uh, oh, people were hating them. But are, are we getting the John Balby song in too? Um, we're still waiting for an right. email. Rick, which one is this? That's track number one, Mont from. Uh, Oh, God. What is this one? <laughs> all right. Wait, get on, get on my grip. These songs are all over the Internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're being played by uh, pretty big uh, air personalities. And, oh, really? And radio stations all over America. Yeah, yeah. And there's a show called... Fantastic. There's a show called Monsters of the Midday in Florida. <laughs> Monsters of the Midday. Yeah, they're out of Tampa. Uh, TKS. That's right. Uh, I think we're going to be on in Tampa eventually. Hey, how about this? <laughs> Following <laughs> Monsters of the Midday. I don't know if we'll be on their stage. It's fantastic, wonderful, what? So, uh, well, uh, did they do this song themselves? They did this song, yeah, and this is their big, uh, their, their big tribute song. And these are all over mm. the, the, the... Huge in Tampa. These are all over the radio websites, and, and our business is like, hey, you've got to download this song and play it on your show or your station. I was, I was getting quite a buzz in our, in our city, Tampa, here. I was uh, uh, talking last night uh, with my girlfriend just saying, I'm so disgusted with the, the business of not just radio, but really, radio has a lot to do with but just the entertainment business. Everything. Everything is so just self-important, you know? Mm. And it's the same thing with these songs. They throw them together, and you know that they're just meeting with each other. and just, yeah, That's a good one. You know, and the whole the whole original uh, uh, cause that it was made for, which I don't think exists in the first place, uh, just it takes a back seat to, hey, if this gets played all over the country, we're going to do great. This yeah. is good for us. Yeah. Self-serving. Oh, yeah. Um, Monsters of Midday. So, what's the name of the song, Rick? You know? Um, I think it's called uh, uh, Tuttles or something. Tuttles Song for Bubba. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just scribbled on the CD. Uh all right. But it's their tribute song. It's their tribute song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, um, I, I just hope people aren't like tuning in in the middle of the song going, oh, wow, look at that. And you know, they're doing something nice with these. No, no, no. Monsters of Midday. Flip it upside down. What do you do? Wow. Goodbye, English bros. Yeah, another yeah. one that sounds like that. Didn't we hear this yesterday? No? It was the one that turned into the hip hop thing. Blue our city skyline. Uh -huh. You missed America. You brought down our nation's airlines. But you missed America. You can go and sing. We do live in America. Yeah, yeah. We do. See what he's saying, Opie, is we don't live in America. America. America lives in us. 
Yes.
<laughs> and I'm, um, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm, I'm hold on, hold on. Give Ben, give Ben a microphone for the Scorch uh, segment because Ben just loves this guy. <laughs> Scorch rule. Scorch rule. Uh, I'm saying uh, news or dressing. News or dressing. Well, my name is uh, subtitled uh, Seven Seas or Summer's Eve. Ah, okay. And but, uh, basically, we're having people uh, blindfold to drink cups of Italian dressing or vinegar and water douche with uh, a little bit of oregano in it. And they have to decide if it's... Uh, Who's your dressing? Who's your dressing? Who's your dressing? Like, you know what? For Central New York, it works. <laughs> and, and, and will you give out prizes for the, the person that uh, guesses correctly? No, man. We don't give out prizes. There's no need to give out prizes. Dude, what's up with your dog. dog every time you call us? I don't know. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Man, I still have my wolf that you guys knew I had, and I got a pit bull, so who knows who playing? Of course, let, let me play uh, devil's advocate with your brand new bit, okay? Yeah. Do, douche addressing. Please. How many people are you going to have doing this? Uh, who knows? Probably maybe 15 throughout the morning. 15 people oh, throughout the morning, don't okay. You, don't you think after the first or second it's going to kind of get old real fast? Uh, no, not if I change the douche and or the dressing, no. <laughs> oh, there you go. So what type, what type of douche uh, uh, do they have besides the water? Well, they got vinegar and water. I would imagine they have some sort of herbal douche. I think. I would think, yeah. You know. um, uh, uh, Scorch, is, uh, is douche poisonous to be ingested? I don't think. Who cares? You didn't look into the whole angle of this. Who cares? Oh, it's just seriously, who cares? Dude, how many hits did you have when you you came up with this brilliant idea? Uh, that could have been, I think I was coming back from your studio, actually. <laughs> so who knows? I was, I was with the stoners that day, so Lord only knows. I like douche or dressing, though. But what's your problem with it? Can we steal the douche or dressing idea? See, you know, let me, yeah, you can definitely steal that, but let me explain something. You ask me all the time what I do on my show. Your show's nationwide. Am I going to tell you my stories that so, so everybody nationwide can steal all of my fun things I do? Hell no. Uh, I have a feeling the monsters of the midday will be stealing douche or dressing. That's Pretty funny. That was a god awful tune. I can send you one. Let me find one. This guy came into the station the other day and sang this song that was just so totally god awful. Put that one, makes that one sound like a Grammy winner. And were you live on the air when he was doing it and you had to make believe it was good? Well, I didn't make believe it was good. Oh, I, okay, okay. You know, but uh, yeah, I had to be live. It was just awful. Yeah. But, uh, and what else we got coming up tomorrow? Tomorrow we got Kurt Angle and uh, Steve Austin coming up because of uh, the uh, thing on Sunday, Unforgiven. Hold on, time out. What? You're interviewing Steve Austin tomorrow? Yeah. Dude, we've been, we've been in New York. For three years, we've never gotten uh, Steve Austin on our show. I work with the WWF, though, so I can... Ah, oh, see, oh, that's oh, a... Oh, oh, there's the end. There's the end. I think we got Shane O'Mac today. That's cool, though. He's a man. He's a good man. We like the Shane. Yeah, Shane was a good man. Uh, other than that, really not much. We might do something with Gooner. I don't know. <laughs> you know, Gooner came down in my version of Stinky. Right. And uh, that's about it. All right. Well, and douche or, or dressing. Douche or dressing is name it. Uh, How about this one? Here's something else you all can steal, okay? I, I can't wait to hear this one. Go ahead. This one is called The Weakest Dink. The Weakest Dink? The Weakest yeah. Dink. It's got to be an Asian reference. I have Ann Robinson uh, doing some drops me, and I've got women calling me up, telling me about their boyfriends that couldn't get it up, or their husbands, whatever. Oh. And uh, then we do the conference call and let them explain why they couldn't get it up, and, you know. We uh, let the listeners vote who has the weakest ink. And then we, uh, actually, I'm sending the winner of this one, which uh, I think I'm starting next week to the uh, whorehouse in Las Vegas. Totally nude. Totally nude whorehouse in Las Vegas. Uh, Scorch, I got some uh, different douche uh, flavors, I guess you'd call them. Oh, you do? What you would call them. But yeah, uh, uh, Summer's Eve puts out um, some of these uh, flavors. Yeah. They're legitimate, so this might help you with your bit. Thanks. Um, lemon mist. Yeah. So I'm thinking you get some lemon mist douche and maybe lemonade. Yeah. Something like that, okay? Okay. Uh, the vinegar and water, so you can yeah. do that with the dressing. Yeah. There's white flowers. Oh, yeah. It's something. Now, I don't know what you would be able to use with the white flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. White flowers. I, I don't know what you can use with that. Do you, know the, do you know there's a post-menstrual douche, Opie? Really. I never knew that. Really? Like, I didn't know that that had to be kept clean. But yeah. there you go. The lemon mist and lemonade. That that could help you. I could have, thanks, man. You're, you're the man. Scorch, hold on a second, because uh, Tara's really pissed off. Uh, uh, Tara? Yes. W what's up? Um, about a week ago, I was listening to YSP in Philly. Yeah. And Cousin Ed played that uh, song. Oh, no. But it wasn't the song. Some woman wrote an email and was circulating it around the internet so those guys didn't even write it it's oh. the exact same words oh so some lady wrote that as maybe a, a cute little poem or something it was and then, supposed to and be then like the monster of uh the monsters of the midday put it to music monsters of midday <laughs>
Yeah, she was calling in. She was calling in an open letter to the terrorists. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're going to read it. All right, Tara, thank you. You're welcome. Some of open letters to people. You only make open letters to people that are never, ever going to read the open letter. Why do people in a time of tragedy have to show everybody how brilliant and deep they are? Nobody the cares. You know what the other thing uh, radio stations across America are doing? They're, um... Look, all right, I, mean, I know your intentions were nice and stuff, but they're getting, like, giant uh, cards, hot dogs. Oh, card, cards, and having like their whole community sign, sign in, and there say how sorry they, you know, there you go. they are. Where's stuff. that gonna go? And they're gonna, and they're gonna, you know, bring it down to like Washington Square Park or Union mm -hmm. Square Park. It's great. So, so we could all uh, read the card. He's some beats having money. You know, don't donate money. Get the big card. What the hell is the big card gonna do? You know, let me let me put a little taster in into that whole thing. Where do you think all those books are that people sign for Lady Di? <laughs> in the trash. In the trash. But Who's made, reading those? But it made the people feel good to write down their thoughts, Anthony. Mm. Write them down and keep them on your table at home. Yeah. All right. All right. Read them for your own inspiration. Scorch, we got to get back to our show. Well, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Uh, Who's your dress? Hey, let me, can I give a quick plug to two things? Now, I promise you'll be very quick. Scorch at krock.com, but starting <laughs> a week from next, it's scorch1.com. And we'll have uh, we got our own website coming up. It's you got be... your own. Wait a minute, this is exciting news. Scorch one at just the number one, or do you spell one. it? Scorch number one dot com. The, who the hell has Scorch dot com? Uh, actually, a company out of Canada has Scorch dot com. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Sons of bitches. They're not even nude, and they're using Scorch. <laughs> Bastards. Bastards. Sons of bitches. Do they sell douche or dressing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be a coincidence and a half, wouldn't it? It certainly was. Scorch1.com. Scorch. Uh, when can we look forward to seeing Scorch1.com? Uh, that should be up by October 1st. And one more thing, tomorrow yeah. Sunday's my birthday, so I want everybody to email me up the radio station and say happy birthday. Sunday. Happy new, happy totally new birthday. Hey, hey Scorch, man, yeah. you're coming up with those great ideas. The week is dink and douche of dressing. Pittsburgh should be calling soon. Pittsburgh, thanks. Oh, you <laughs> suck, <don't know> me. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks. Have a good Bye, job, boys. Sports from the Kingdom of Nakedness. Totally Nude Radio. Totally Nude. Dude, dude, dude. Bye, Sports. Bye, guys. <laughs> Dude's redressing. <laughs> yeah, I just picture this. Hey, we ride him hard, but just think of this. He's he's syndicated through our show. Here's what I picture. Here's what I picture. Fifteen cities just heard him. Yes. Scorch laying in bed. He's been up all night. It's maybe 2 a.m. Pitch black. <laughs> then bolts up. I don't know. It sits straight up. <laughs> Do your dressing. <laughs> Use your dressing. I'll write that down. You're right. <laughs> Just bolts straight up. Use your dressing. <laughs> Just yells it out in the darkness. I have a feeling he has a, <laughs> has a tape recorder by his bed like Keith Richards. <laughs> He's not going to remember these ideas when he wakes up. I think I woke up in the middle of the night with an idea. I, I'm not sure, though. Thank God I, I have this new cassette recorder. Let me, let me just hit play here. Hey, Scorch, it's me, Scorch. <laughs> you were just asleep, but now you're awake, and I'm not sure you're going to remember this. Do what you're dressing. Do what you're dressing. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to sleep. Let me get off. <laughs> Do what you're dressing. The guy's a goddamn genius. Uh, we love this, Scorch. Uh, There's tragedy and turmoil everywhere. Do what you're dressing. Okay. <laughs> Do they really have lemonade flavored douche? Or are you joking? Lemon, yeah. Lemon mist. It's always got to be something nice, something crisp and clean. You guys, we still have four uh, uh, country waterfall. We still have four songs to play. Ooh. Putting the accent on country. <laughs> country waterfall. I said crunch. The lemonade one is nice. You, you, you apply it, and then you lay back, and you charge five cents a lick. <laughs> Hot summer day. <laughs> Let the kids build a stand. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Yeah, sure. All right, we'll see what happens. We got four more tribute songs to get to. Him. Did we find a new John Dalby song? Not yet. Dalby's got some weird internet problems. Dalby, he can't figure out how to email us the song again. He's been emailing me for days. All right, more really fast tribute songs on the way. <laughs>
be.